Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about Monte Carlo integration in Tableau. So um, bas the basic idea is that you generate a, 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 ran a list of random number and then plug it into the function, take the sum and then, and then divide it by your sample size, then you will get a number that is very close to the actual integral. So today I'm going to uh, replicate the same thing in Tableau. And if you're interested, I also have a video in uh, in R and talk about all these um, the Monte Carlo methods and uh, some sampling techniques. So uh, first of all, I created a, a, a Excel sheet, and then that is only um, that uh, that has um, the ID column here. And um, so basically, just one column and then sequential ID. That is the placeholder for my samples, uh, for, 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 for me to generate sample size, okay. uh, for me to generate random numbers. And then I here I use uh, this level of detail, and then I use the random function. So this function is not officially included in Tableau, but it still exists, so you can use it. Uh, unless uh, if it, if in your version of Tableau that doesn't exist, then you can use some other method like the linear congruential method to generate random uh, uniform distribution. I, I also have some video talking about that, so uh, feel free to look at to take a look at that video and then to see how you can generate that number uh, without using the random function. But just to make it easier, I just use the random function so that uh, it is um, just make it easier. So here I'm saying that for each ID, so level of detail fix on ID and then generate a random number. The, the, the reason for using average here is that uh, for level of detail, we need to have aggregation function in level of detail. So basically just the average of one number, so it's just itself. So, um, so that is just giving, for each ID, generate one random number that is following the uniform distribution. So here you can see that all the random number is between 0 and 1. Okay. So using the Monte Carlo integration, and this is the function that I'm going to calculate the integral, and then I basically I'm just uh, plugging into the random, uh, the the random number into into in, in 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 into this function, and then take the sum, take the average, and then here we have the estimation, and let's take a look at the actual number. So uh, first generate um, some random number, and then this is the function that I'm going to calculate the integral. And also calculate the, the number that is calculated from using using the Monte Carlo integration. So now let's take a look at the actual number using the integrate function in R. So I'm going to integrate this function f over the interval from 0 to 1. And this is the actual value that I get, 1.045. Now let's take a look at the method that I, uh, the, the, the number that I get from using Monte Carlo integration, I get 0 1.042. So after the second de decimal, then there's a little bit discrepancy. But we can try again. And 1.44. And generate another set of uh, number 1.447. So uh, basically, if, if we increase the sample size, then we are very likely to increase the accuracy. And as you can see, that now is is the third um, decimal point. The third decimal is also uh, um, locked down. It's all the, so the error come from the fourth decimal point. So as you keep increasing the sample size, it's very likely that you will you will uh, improve the accuracy. But uh, there's still a little bit discrepancy on the variance. So there's some other technique to to um, to reduce variance for your for for your sampling. But uh, today I'm just going to replicate the same thing in R. Uh, sorry, in Tableau. So uh, basically, you can just increase the same thing, and uh, inc doing the same thing to increase the sample size, and then uh, refresh the, and then refresh um, your your estimation, and then this number will will, will get uh, very close to your to your sample um, to your actual number. Okay. So uh, that is to calculate the integral for uh, for fun for for this function, and then specifically over the integral uh, intervals from zero to one. So now let's take a look. Uh, let's do the um, Monte Carlo integration on a different interval, and then here specifically for um, normal distribution. So um, previously, I talked about uh, using um, numeric methods to estimate the the integral of uh, the error function. And uh, and then and then calculate the CDF. 
So here I have the error function here. Uh, th this is just a numeric method to estimate uh, the integral of error function. And then from there, you calculate the CDF and then uh, get the normal distribution. So as you can see, for the z-score 1.96, we get um, 0 0.97. We can also take a look for this um, integrate. So basically for negative 4 to 1.96. I get 0 0.9749. The integral, the, the and then the, the number that I am using uh, f by using to estimate the error function, I get 0 0.97. So for uh, two decimal point, I'm 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 getting um, I'm getting the almost the same 9749. So it's uh, 9752. So I mean uh, as for the for the probability or or, or the area under the curve then uh, it is already um, uh, already very close enough by the two decimal point and um, but today we uh, I'm going to talk about more on the on the multicolor integration so again using the same uh, generate random numbers and then plug it in for the for the um, to the function but uh, there's a, a, a slight adjustment you need to do so um, you can uh, you need to adjust the range for for your sample because uh, uh, because right now we are going to uh, calculate the integral not on the in, not on over the interval from 0 to 1 but it's also it's, it's from another interval so specifically we want to get from negative uh, negative infinity up to up to um, our um, z score, but here I'm just going to use negative four as the, as the very negative value since uh, since uh, zero three uh, negative three to three is already covered ninety nine percent of the of the data. So um, here I get um, so after some data manipulation and then calculate the estimate using the Monte Carlo integration, specifically on uh, over the interval from negative four to one point nine six. And then I get uh, 97, 0 0.9752. So in in my error in, in this way in in this calculation uh, to estimate the, from by by estimating the error function I get 0 0.9752, and this one I get uh, interval from negative four to 1.96 I get 0 0.9753. So let's take a look at uh, the actual number here. Oh yeah, uh, we already calculated. So it's 9749. And also, let's take a look on the Monte Carlo integration to calculating. So you need to do some adjustment for for the range and for the output because now we are not no longer on the interval of from zero to one. So with that calculation, and then it's zero point nine seven five six. So uh, basically, here I'm using uh, two. This uh, two methods in R and two methods in Tableau. So they're all um, there. There's the, the integrate function in, in R. I would say is the the most accurate uh, to calculate integral. And uh, for estimating the error function uh, or using the Monte Carlo integration, they're all uh, a mathematical technique to estimate the integral. So uh, there are ways to improve the accuracy, such as improving the increasing the sample size or reduce the variance. But uh, but uh, here I'm just going to I'm, I'm just showing all show you some technique that you can estimate integrals in 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 in, in Tableau or in R. But um, with this you can you can do a lots of variation, lots of things uh, uh, in Tableau. So uh, this video is just going to introduce the technique and the method. So um, thank you very much for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.